Hoo-ha-ha! <laughs> Welcome back, gals and ghouls, and never fear, for another year of spooktacular Halloween toys is here. And this week, to kick off the month-long, fun-filled fright fest of Halloween, I've got some spooky, vintage, rubber jiggler finger puppets to take a look at. Now, we've got a wide assortment of frightful freaks to take a look at, so let's take a look at one of my very favorites, right front and center, this spooky little yellow lizard. Now this one here, he's actually from the 70s, this spooky little monster, and you can see they're called Jiggler Finger Puppets because you put them on your fingers and they move all around very wacky, and they're very spooky. He's got great big googly eyes and yellow skin. I guess he's been out in the sun too long. And his arms don't seem to be holding together very well anymore. Ooh, he's coming apart at the seams. Now, all these finger puppets are made by a toy company known only as ACC Toys. Not very much else is known about these frightful little baddies. But they're cool and they're still in production today. So like I said, they're almost impossible to date, but I believe this one's from the late 70s or the 80s. So I've been around the block a few times, I can tell you that much. <laughs> He'll give himself a round of applause. Now let's take a look at some of his other frightful friends. Here we have this spooky little fellow. And now I think these are from the... 80s or the 90s, and check this guy out. He looks like a spooky spider or some type of crazy tarantula demon. Yeah! You can almost hear him screaming in agony. Why do I exist? Why do I exist? I am an affront to humanity. He's got that big, wide, gaping mouth open and horns on his head and the six arms and pincers and that fuchsia bright color. Very spooky little fellow indeed. <laughs> and then next to our yellow friend here, we have someone who doesn't really look that frightful at all, but you never know. Appearances can be deceiving when he has up his sleeves, or up his snout, I suppose. He's got a big green snout and a crazy, almost like Joker smile with the red on the side and just eyes that stare into your soul and he has hair green hair but it almost looks like a brain just coming out of the top of his head and he's got these little suction cup hands so when he grabs you he doesn't let go and then he'll inhale you through his monstrous snout <laughs> much more intimidating than his goofy appearance would make you think Then we have this little fellow here, and he's also another wacky looking demon with his four eyes and a big purple mouth and toothy grin and big purple claws, and good lord, I don't know what he'd do to you if you saw him down a dark alley or popped out of your closet one night or out of your nightmares, but he certainly looks like he'd be pretty terrifying and uh, definitely looks insane and crazy, so I wouldn't want to... Wouldn't want to meet this little spooky gremlin anywhere. Looks like he might snip your arms off or something with those crazy pincers. Eee. And then, of course, here we have a little vampire bat dragon. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Of course, I want to suck your blood. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. I am crazy paraplegic vampire puppet. Ooh, ha, ha. I have no legs, but I am still very frightening. <laughs> and I have a very nice purple mohawk. Don't you like my spooky mohawk and my nice big fangs and my silly little wings under my arms? But my arms are really getting tired. I can't, I can't put my arms down. Oh, oh, I need to sleep. Back to my tomb. And then last but not least, we have... This goofy little, whatever the hell he is, little yellow and green bug-eyed, 
creature from the lagoon or something, or just one of the Halloween rejects, I suppose, but he looks like he might still be up to some spooky nonsense in his own right. Don't let that dumb look fool you. I'm sure uh, he'd give you a run for your money, a run for your screams and your life. Who knows what this little uh, wacky fright monstrosity has in store for you. Ah. Well, all right, guys, thanks for taking a look at these spooky little vintage finger puppets as I kick off a month full of fun flights for another year of Halloween. And I'll see you back here next week, ghouls and gals. <laughs> hey, guys, if you like the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.